Liverpool is not really an ancient city. It did not grow organically over many centuries. It sprang into being and, like other great ports, its population was drawn from many places and many different cultures. And this is reflected in its buildings. Just a short distance from the centre is this magnificent synagogue which Pevsner treated rather cursorily. The interior is amazing, rich, exotic, colourful, glittering. Solomon's Temple recreated in Lancashire. The style is a strange mixture of the Moorish and the Greek. And it's the work of a pair of Presbyterian Scots, the Audsley brothers. Dr. Moss, I mean, the Orsley brothers who designed this synagogue uh, weren't Jewish and they never designed one before. Do you think they made a good job of it? I think they made a marvellous job. That's uh, the great story that, of course, they never knew, any, knew anything about Judaism and Jewish design, Jewish architecture, and they just researched it and they didn't like what they'd seen around the Europe and the Middle East and they decided to put together their own mixture that they described as eclecticism. The danger is that uh, one tends to spend your time admiring the architecture rather than yeah. praying, which is the job of <laughs> what, we do, <laughs> what we come here for. Yes. Do you think the congregation here is privileged to have such a splendid building to worship in? I think so. We think so. And we are determined to hang on to it, even though our community has spread around, spread away from here, and it is difficult to get a decent congregation coming. Um, how can you possibly let a building like this go? Mm. We're determined that it's not going to disappear. The Audley brothers went on to design skyscrapers in America, but the flow of architectural ideas was not all in one direction. By the early 20th century, Liverpool was looking west across the Atlantic for inspiration. 